constructor. Now let's talk about the constructor function. We've seen the constructor before and it looks like this. It doesn't have the function keyword and it is simply defined with its brackets constructor and you can see it's also a different color. And that's because it's a very special function and it's optional. A contract doesn't have to have a constructor but if it has, it can only have one. Also, a constructor function only ever executes once and this is during the deployment of your contract. And this means that most people use the constructor to set up initial values. For example, if we had a uint variable called max tokens, and this was not initialized here, but instead in the constructor we said max tokens is going to be equal to 10,000. This is perfectly fine. So if we make this public and we deploy the contract, if we open it, we can see that max tokens is indeed 10,000. But if we want to make it more dynamic, we can of course pass in a variable and I'm going to call this init max tokens. And then I'm going to simply assign this to max tokens. And now if I close this, you can see that with the deploy, we can pass a parameter max tokens, initial max tokens. So here I can maybe make it 500 now and hit deploy. Now our max tokens is 500. We can also have multiple parameters. Let me create an address and this will be public too. And this time I'm gonna say this is the owner of this contract. Now here I'm gonna say, I'm gonna pass in an address as well. And I'm gonna say this is our init owner. Now you can call this whatever you like. And then simply we're going to say the owner is going to be equal to the init owner. And this time, if we want to deploy the contract, we can see that we now have two parameters. We can expand this with this drop down. We need to send in the amount of tokens. Let's make it a thousand and an address. I'm simply going to copy this address. And when I say transact, we can see that we have our tokens and also the address of our owner of this contract. So this constructor is very useful for setting up initial values and you'll see me use it throughout the course.